Smugglers of illicit items into correctional facilities have become smarter and found creative and innovative ways to do so. Brooms, cream containers, shoes, buckets and hiding contrabands in food such as bread are just but some of many other ways used to smuggle items in prison. Between January and April this year, about 101 packages of dacha in a form of bullets or sachets, 33 crack cocaine sachets, 8 mandrax tablets, 75 sachets of tobacco and 95 mobile phones were found in the facility during a thorough search by officers. Apart from inmates, family members and friends, sometimes this act is carried out by correctional officers. At times, friends or offenders insert in contraband items into the rectum or swallow them and retrieve them later. The head of the Ventu Correctional Facility, Deputy Commissioner Vico Armas, says the end result of this is increased violence, criminal activities among offenders and aggravate drug addictions. Allow me to state that the negative effect, effects associated with contraband use and smuggling includes increased insecurity incidents, bullying and violence. Furthermore, Smuggling also affects rehabilitation of efforts as instead of focusing on the restoration of law-abiding citizens, smuggling continues to support criminal attitudes and behaviors. Sharing his story of falling victim to con inmates was Emmanuel Kaliki. Kaliki narrated that he was conned by an inmate who used a smuggled phone to sell him a car that already belongs to someone. The seller who claimed to be Nochuarongo was actually inside the cell. So, and um, the cousin who brought the car to me, who handed over the car to me, was actually a member of public being used. He also didn't know who the owner of the car was. He was also just being called, drop this car there, show it to this client. So, it's, uh, it's very important that um, the fight against contraband and uh, smuggling of uh, things such as uh, cell phone into our prison facility should be uh, stopped. Deputy Commissioner Armas, who was speaking during the anti-contraband awareness campaign, called on the public to report any incidents of contraband smuggling to the nearest police station. The campaign was necessitated by an alarming upsurge of contrabands trafficked into the correctional facility. Selman Vikwa, NBC News, Ventuk.